good day. So um, today we'll be talking about 10 Visual Studio Code extensions that would um, help our workflow. So um, basically, as a developer, we need some of these extensions to make our workflow easier. And then we have this extension icon here, which when you click, takes you to the to this. It, op it opens up this section where you can see your already installed extensions, and you can also search for um, extensions that you might want to install. So um, our first extension that we want to check out is the Live Server extension. I already have it installed. So um, as you can see, it says launch a development local server with a live reload feature for static and dynamic pages. So what it does is it has a, a live reload feature. Just can you see this? So as you're working, it just reloads the page immediately. That's just how it works. So I'm just going to show you a quick example. I'm going to create a new, um, new, project here. Okay, and I'm going to select this folder. All right, so I'm going to create a new file in this folder called index.html and um, create an HTML5 boilerplate. I'm going to give it um, VS code extensions. H1, kind of Visual Studio code extensions. So after saving this, all I need to use um, Live Server is just right click and say open with Live Server. And then immediately it brings this up. So I could just do this and this and notice what happens when I create an H2 that says reload without reloading. So may I click save, that happens. So it automatically reloads the Chrome browser and then pops up the new elements in my code. So basically that's just what Live Server does. So would, um, you would find it really interesting to work with, I'm very sure. So our next extension we want to work on is auto rename tag, auto rename tag. So if I just search auto rename tag, already have it installed also. It says auto rename paired HTML and XML tags. So basically what this does is if I already, I, I already have this file, if I choose to rename this tag from an H2 to an H3, I do not need to touch the closing tag. It just renames it automatically. If I say change it to a P, it changes it automatically. So an advantage of this is, let's say you have a, a, a file where you have a form tag and you have a, you have inputs, inputs of, inputs of text and A lot of them and input of of submit button. All right. So I do not want to start looking for these other tags. So let's say I have something like this, and what the opening tag is right here. The closing tag is somewhere down below. And I do not want to look for it. I just want to change it from the top here. I just need to say form, and then it affects the one below. And if I change it to 
something else let's see change it affects the one below so basically that's just how that works the auto rename tag is, is a very easy and nice extension to use so i could just change all of this leave it like that our next extension is um pretty cool prettier code formatter so i'll just search that prettier code formatter it says code formatter using prettier if you, if you look at this it says um so i'm just going to look at the details So Prettier is a um, code formatter, so it helps to arrange our code so it looks pretty while you're working. You don't need to worry about indentation and all of those. So I'm just going to um, give it a try. Let's see what happens. Um, so I'm going to create a JavaScript file, uh, new file. I'm going to call it main.js. So basically, yeah, I'm just going to call, um, let's see, a function. That logs to the console. Um, hello world. Yeah. So. I'm gonna do this indents and indents when I save. See, it's so upon saving, it actually brings up brings back our codes to a very nice formatted indentation and all that, and it does that with almost everything that we're doing. So let's say we have a we have let's see. What else can we have now? So let's say we have um, an object. We have an object. Yeah, so if I were to indent this in a very funny way, upon saving, it gives it a nice indentation and you brought it a bit up. So that's just what Prettier does. Very nice extension that we might want to use. So our next extension would be JavaScript. JavaScript. Yes, six code snippets. So basically, what this does it gives us a, co um, a list of code snippets that we can use to make our, our workflow easier and faster. You can see the list here, like um, for console.log, you could just say CLG, then um, console.error, CER, and a whole lot of others. The for loop, for off loop, for each loop, FRE for forage loop and all that. So I, I could, let's just try this. We already have a JS file. So um, we could, let's see, let's make an array of one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And then yeah, for each. So I, I'll just tab item tab and then 
CLG for consular log, log the item. So I used for FRE for forage, then CLG for consular log, and then that makes my work faster. Then when I save, Prettier does what it does best, indents it properly, and then space out the numbers. So that's that for JavaScript ES6 code snippets. Then indent rainbows. So if I search for indent rainbows, yeah, all right. So what this does is it gives um colors, it gives colors to our indentation. So if I go to our main, I already have it installed. If I go to our main.js file, you notice right here that there are colors here. So if they are indented some more so let's say i create um uh let's see so let them create a json object all right So yes, a JSON objects. Two, three, Fred. Franny. All right. So if I if I do this, all right. Now. You can see the colors here. It's quite different from the colors here. So that's what indent rainbow does. All right. So that's what indent rainbow does. It shows the difference between this indentation and this other indentation makes it easy for you to find stuff. Then um, bracket peer colorizer. Yes, so you can see from the colors, just give colors to our bracket. Can you see this? So there's a purple here, there's a blue here. So you know where one is starting from and where the other one is, starts, is closing and all that very nice extension to use if we just look through you notice the same thing it's a yellow and it's a yellow right here great and then this is a purple and this is a purple right here all right so that's that then code spell checker that's another nice extension that you might want to check out code spell checker so this checks our code it says spelling checker for source code so when you're writing and then you make a mistake can you see this so it, it tells you oh the spelling is wrong why don't you just check that out so can you see this defaults and constants and all you need to do is just when you, you um, have a spelling error all you need to do is just go there and press command dots or control dots on the mark command dots or control dots and it gives you the options the correct options that you might want to use all right so our next extension i want we want to check is html css support so let's see HTML CSS support. So I already have it installed also. It says CSS support for HTML documents. So what this does is um, it brings our CSS, it links our CSS to our HTML file such that when we're trying to get CSS 